Morning guys. Late start today. Bloody windy. Got up at four o'clock this morning and thought to myself, nah, bed's looking pretty good. It's still really windy, but it's supposed to drop off a little bit later. So plan is to do a little bit of trolling. Until we get to the spot. And then hopefully the wind's dropped off enough that we can well, basically sit on the spot and burly up, throw a couple of muleys out the back. So we'll see how that plan works. All right, now that the weather's calmed down a bit, headed back out again for what will pretty much be my last demersal fish before the band kicks in. Starting to calm down now, which is good. All right, first drop. Let's see what's down there. It's been a pretty quiet day today. Even in shallow, I had no, no real action or activity. There wasn't much going on. There were fish on the sounder, but just all shut down. Water's pretty murky, which is usually a good thing. Jeez, it's just getting taken on the way down at the moment. I don't, there we go sure what this is. Real strange fight. It's not real big. <laughs> Sergeant Baker. That's actually quite a large one. Far out. Great bait. Jewfish lollipop. Cool looking fish. This is a much better fish. <laughs> yeah. Feels like a dewy. Yeah, come to demo. Can see it down there now. Yeah, looks like a dewy. Certainly is a dewy. It's no horse, but. Oh, beautiful. Let's get him up and uh, have a squeeze. Be careful of that lure. Still got hooks in him. So there he is. Nice little Dewey. Only been out here sort of 10 minutes. He's not huge. Sort of 60 centimeters. But that's a good, uh, good eating size anyway. Oh, we're getting my ice. Alright. Try again. I really would love a, a baldy. Listen to me, I've got a, Jew a Jewy on the, on the boat, but I want a baldy. <laughs> Baldies are my favourite, so. I'd gladly throw back a Jewfish for a ball chin groper, personally. The weather's turned now, it's really nice out here. The wind's dropping off. For once the forecast got it right. It's supposed to drop off at about 10 o'clock and it's 9.40 now. It's kind of why I held off late. I thought, oh, why come out here and smash yourself up in the rough weather when you come out a bit later and you know it's going to calm down. Look how calm it is out here now. Got a floating muley out the back there in the Burley Trail. Nothing's had a sniff at that. It's, it's really quiet out here. 
got that dewy not long ago, but um, since then it's, it's shut down. You can see the water's getting all ripply there. The wind's literally just changed. It's gone from a dead easterly to a southwester now. And it was literally like someone flicked a light switch. I'm gonna pack up from out here now. It might head into the reef and see whether or not it's worthwhile stopping there for a bit and see if there's a kingy or something around. And then uh, pull my two week old pot out of the water and take the take it home so you guys in there okay so we were heading in to the reef which is just behind us over there but on the way past some massive bait schools so there's bait jumping everywhere I mean look how thick the bait is there is well quite a number of different schools I just keep coming past one after the other I've got Burley out a couple of baits floating so I've got a little tiny rod with a little Cuban muley on and then a whole muley there's birds everywhere but nothing seems to want to eat there you go look at all the bait under the boat bounce out, out the back here jumping look at it all I don't know if you can see that on camera Unreal, but nothing eating it. A bit of a swell in, you can see the water's pretty murky. Usually you can see the bottom clear as day out here, but today it's pretty murky. I'm just gonna sit here for a second and see what the water's doing before I decide to stick the electric out and throw a, throw a muley in there. You do have to be careful in here. One reasonable wave and it can sort you out pretty quickly. The beauty is if the electric stops working here with the wind direction, it's just gonna blow me back. So it's not gonna stick me into the reef or put me in the danger zone. I've left my main motor running too, because if you need to make a quick exit, I can just push the button on the electric and then take off. Whoop, here we go. Oh no. I think I got it off. Oh, come back. Oh, yep, 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 yep. See it following out there? What is that? See it on the surface. Oh, what are they? Come on, eat it. Eat it. See them there? They're kings. Look at them down here. The yellowtail kingies, look. Damn. I busted up my muley and then didn't want to look at it again. And my drag set. Got to go hard on these fish when you do hook them because this is only seven or eight meters deep here. So as soon as I hook one, it's just going to run straight for the reef. Mom, eat it, buddy, eat it. Oh, what's going on? Look at him. Oh, man, look at him there. Just laughing at me. Look at them down there. Come on. Yeah, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, they're looking at it. Come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. Yes. Shit. 
Get him. Get him out of that reef. Oh, shit. Come on. Oh my God. They pull so hard. Oh. Oh. And just like that, no go. What did I do? Pulled hooks. Oh. <laughs> oh God, they give such a good account for themselves. Well, we're going to give that a go again. It felt like a snap then too, which was strange, but it's not what happened, so... That was... You forget how hard they pull. I hope the camera saw that. It took it right next to the boat. Yeah, here we go. Another one. Come on. Eat it. Eat it. Oh. Right next to the boat. Come on, eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Yeah, eat it. Get it in your gob. He's coming back. Oh. It's so cool when you can see them. There, yeah, look at this. Come on. There's a few of them down there. Here, look at this. Look at how close the wave is coming. He's just circling, or circling us around here. <laughs> the closer the boat I hook him, the better it might be. Less line out. There he is. Oh no, they're skippy down there. I don't want them. Oh, that kingy. Yeah, look at straight on it. Oh, eat it. Come on, eat it. Look at them down there. Come on. Why won't they eat it? They were on that straight away. Yeah, they're there. Far out. Sometimes they can be so fussy. Other times they just don't care. Look at that. <laughs> Come on, eat it. They're just nudging it. Here comes one. Come on. Oh, I hope the camera can see this. They're right there. There is heaps of them. Here comes one. Oh, he's a good size. It's funny, in these situations, I usually find it's the smaller ones that eat. The bigger ones are a little fussier. I'd love to try a lure, but oh, I just really want to focus on getting one in the boat first. Yep, yep. Oh, yes. Come on. Stay connected, you bludger. He's not a big one. Oh, this is not a big one at all. It's a pup. But they still pull bloody hard. Look at, the, look at that big bastard down there. Why didn't you eat? Jeez, they're not... They're no slouch. Oh, no, he's on the motor. Gee. <laughs> oh, it wasn't... Man, oh, what a, what a mission. They pull hard. <laughs> oh, he's going to be borderline whether he's even sized. All right, so 60 is what they got to be. This thing's 65, so it is size. That's a good size for eating. So I'm going to keep him. One or two of these. Oh, these are great sashimi. Look at him. Put the sun on him without throwing him in the water would be good. There he is. Little rat king. We'll dispatch him and see if we can't hook one more. 
There's some big ones down there, far out. Look at that one there. It's just so much fun, these things. There's some real big ones in there. Like I said before, the small ones are the ones that tend to eat first. Here comes one, look at this, look at him go. <laughs> look at this. Yep, yep. <laughs> they come from nowhere. Oh, jeez. And just charge that bait. Come on. Don't you dive. <laughs> Look at all the skippy. <laughs> they just pull so hard for their size, these things. <laughs> he let that, he let the hook go. That's all right, I was gonna let that one go anyway, but Whoa. how much fun is that? I'm gonna try the head. I seem to be just eating anything now. Look at all the skippy going for it now. The skippy are a pain in the ass. Once they're in, they're really hard to get past. But look at that. Oh, see that? See how close they came? Here he is. Look at that. That's a good size. Got him. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. He's going to do me in the reef. Don't go that way. Come back this way. There he comes. Oh, he's got a heap of mates with him. Oh. All right. That time he snapped me off. 30 pounds not enough for these things. <laughs> oh man, what a lot of fun. We'll have to get the 40, sorry, 50 pound on him. Oh. We'll just change his rig and see if we can get another one. All right. Try again. I should have started with this reel, but I wanted to use the light gear. It's a bit more challenging. We got one in the in the bag anyway, so it's good fun to have a bit of support. But while they're biting, I don't want to be tying on leaders, so um, we'll just swap over. Look at the skippy. There's just so many skippy here. Now it can also be the case once you've pinned one or two of these these fish and they get off the school can take off or shut down so hopefully that hasn't happened oh there they are look at them out there there's a couple of big horses in that look right there right where i threw that look at that straight on he's big oh, i don't think i want to stop that geez i might as well cast that straight down as gob Oh, man. Oh, got to go pretty hard on it because it's pulling me straight into the reef. The only problem fishing in this type of location, you've really got to either go real hard on them and risk breaking them off He's a good size. Uh, far out there, pull her. He's a much better size. Oh, look at this thing. Now, yeah. oh my God. He's still green. All right, how are we gonna get this thing? I'm gonna barely fit in this net. Oh yep, we're in. That's much better size, much better size. Oh. <laughs> how much fun is this? So. I'm 
Well, that's kinging. <laughs> All right. Well, that might be enough for today. See how I feel after I get this fella off and maybe I'll have one more cast and then go in and get this crate pot. So I can see, still see the king swimming out there. Not even a follow that time. They might be wising up to it now. Oop, there goes my bait. Oh no, you watch that get eaten straight away. And just like that, they've uh, they've gone. So catching that last one out of that school was one of the wasn't a, a massive one, but it was one of the larger ones. Might have shut them down. You take the smaller ones out of the school. Generally speaking, they don't really care too much. As harsh as that sounds. definitely seem to have moved on now okay just as I said that I literally cast thinking I wasn't going to see anything and straight into the mouth of another one it's another big one too so oh my god I love how far hard these things fight there are a few of them out there I saw a couple of big ones this one's not huge but it's not small Oh, he's got a few with him too. Oh no, he's a pretty good size. Oh, look at the one behind him. Oh, he's bleeding a fair bit too, this one. Oh, he's bleeding a lot actually. Oh, that hook's only, only just in him too. Hopefully we get him, I don't want him to die. Oh, that's really unfortunate. I didn't want to keep this guy, but he's done himself a bit of a mischief there. He's ripped his gills out. Kingies, they're just everywhere, far out. All right, well, I'm definitely not fishing anymore. You're allowed three of these things. So I've caught three. What's the point of catching another one and hurting it? Look, are we kingy? Watch this. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 
What a session, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. See how shallow the reef is in here. I've left the belly bucket in. <laughs> what a legend. Alright, this thing's been out for a long time. It's time to take it out. Leave it out. people it's gonna be great when ocean reef is built because hopefully it takes a bit of pressure off this boat ramp look at that <laughs> might as well go to the pub and come back in a couple of hours so there you go guys the end result I ended up having to keep the third kingy because was too injured to let go so we've got three of them one's going to the old man um, probably one to the father-in-law and then the other one will keep time to clean them all up there they are the bagged up fillets there's quite a bit there kept one of the jewies for dinner and the rest going to go in the freezer or be divvied up between our family members so none of it will go to waste anyway as usual if you like this stuff give me some comments and i'll uh, see you guys out there <laughs>